Thank you very much for your presence, and good afternoon to the audience. My name is Oliver, as posted over here. I'm the vice president for, uh, in ISEP, and in I'm in charge of uh, informatics and uh, well, maintenance. It's two different kind of, of uh, kingdoms, but it's my job. So uh, I was very pleased when Gustavo and CIT in general talked me about this conference over here and the opportunity that this kind of conference give to my colleagues and of course to all participants to uh, develop their skills and new, uh, see new trends on the, um, on the technological and the informatics uh, side of uh, teaching. Over here in, in our institution, I must say that uh, we are still focused on the technological uh, resources. So we are always trying to solve the day-to-day -day basis problems uh, by using uh, informatics and by using information systems and not so uh, in, the, in the, the field of uh, doing what and see what we can do with informatics in the teaching. So we are still late and I believe that's a common trend in, the, in all universities trying to solve the day-to-day -day problems and this kind of conference are very important to enlighten our my colleagues in how we must pursue in next years. Over usually, when you are in the you are the CEO, you are the the, the man in charge of informatics. You are always uh, trying to solve problems, and you don't have the time, uh, unfortunately, to try to see what we have to solve in next two, five, and ten years. And that's what as as teachers must do. We have to, to see in the future, see what are the trendings and see what we, how we can prepare the future and how the informatics, how the technological advances uh, can solve it. Uh, I don't agree very much with the last, the, the, the final part of the introduction because nowadays we are in the, in the crossroad in technological uh, solutions and uh, we really don't know if uh, it's going to be, let me say, a VHS beta debate and if in next five years we are still using Moodle and still using um, WordPress or if new advances will appear. So you are very important to us, uh, the people who are in charge of solving the problems in every day, to enlighten us and, see, and tell us well, what we have to do in our college, what we have to pursue is this kind of solutions. In that way, I thank you very much, Gustavo, in the name of all, everyone, and of course, Salamanca University also, uh, for allowing uh, my colleagues to be here and um, to discuss this kind of things that are very important to us and to allow us to make the jump between everyday problem solving to what we have to do in the future because all of, all of us are on the teaching business, we are not in informatic business. So I hope this, this kind of conference and then next year in Salamanca will allow us to make the gap and do new things. So thank you very much for your presence over here. I hope that you also enjoy our, our school and of course Porto, I don't know if you have a, a nice uh, dinner. Uh, I, I believe it was yesterday, isn't it? Yes. 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 So I hope to enjoy our city that's now in fashion. And uh, I hope to see you soon in Porto in, all, in other occasions. Thank you very much for your presence. So we are close to the end and close to lunch, which is even better. Yeah. Um, it's time to acknowledge and it's time to thank. I have to start with Francisco. Uh, Francisco started this uh, conference two years ago in Salamanca and um, 
he had the idea to enrich TIM as a multicultural event, and he thought that it should also be enriched at, not only by the participants, but also by, through the organization. So he launched this uh, challenge to, to us um, a couple of years ago, actually, it was uh, in November 2013, and said, uh, we should do this in Porto. Uh, but we had to wait two years before actually doing that, because it's, it was important to also um, uh, grab the, the, the participants, build a community around team. So the second year was still in Salamanca, and then we ac accepted the challenge to do it in Porto. So the first was our, to say thank you, Francisco, for taking that, uh, that risk and, uh, and make this possible here in Porto. Uh, then I have to talk uh, and uh, thank the track shares. A team is organized into tracks. So most of the work goes to the track shares to build up the, the scientific program around the, the track team. And uh, the only thing we contributed here was to add one local track share, uh, one local share to the, each track. This enabled to invite uh, uh, colleagues from all schools of the Polytechnic, from the School of Engineering, School of Education, School of uh, Health Science and, and Technology, schools from uh, administration and management, um, and also colleagues from other institutes, from other institutions of Portugal, University of Lisbon, University of Coimbra, uh, University of Trasmonch and Alto Douro. So it was uh, um, an opportunity to uh, build a large community around this event. So my thanks to all track shares. Um, and also, and this is made possible for, for their work, to the authors who contributed with scientific uh, papers to, to each track. Um, I would like to thank uh, uh, Miguel Conte for the workshop that was held during this morning. Uh, Natalia for presenting uh, the, the Porto Design Factory, hand to Anna, Graham, and Jim for the uh, People Opens Education Jam Mix they just presented. These are initiatives that enrich even more um, team. Then I would like to, or to thank the organizing team, the organizing committee. This organization brought together uh, members from the, a local research group called CIETI and members of the GRIAL research group that is led by Francisco. Um, Lucia, Felicidad, uh, Juan Cruz Benito, Alicia. So all of them cooperated with colleagues from Porto and this is the multicultural aspect uh, denoted within the organization. Uh, the local team with uh, Joaquin, uh, uh, with uh, Teresa Senesteves, Margarida, Annabella, uh, um, Clara, uh, André. Um, <clears throat> I hope I'm not forgetting anyone. Uh, so all of these people uh, work together to make out of team this nice event we all participated. I have to give a special word to Clara. Um, I'm not forgetting André. I mean, and Carlos also. Uh, it's, it's difficult because it's, it's, it's an old team, it's an old community that brings together all of this. But I have to say a special word to, uh, to Clara. Uh, in some of the moments I was not able to do my job within team, so I had to ask Clara to took over my duties and she did it w better than me. Uh, I have to say that. Uh, so. I want to say this also to all of you. Uh, also to our students <clears throat> and grantees who were um, around the, uh, this whole organization and they helped us to actually all these things, the registration desk, uh, uh, um, assisting during the, 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 the sessions, all of this would not have been possible without their help. Um, a word to the institutions, to the Polytechnic of Porto, who gave us financial support, and the School of Engineering, represented here through its Vice President, uh, Professor José Carlos Barros de Oliveira, 
because of all these facilities that we are, that we are using. Um, I would also like to give a word to, for Dali Communication, Laura and Diego, Jaime and uh, Cristiano from the um, communication service of the, of the School of Engineering for the photos, for the videos they have also been uh, um, acquiring with interviews to the track shares. Uh, a final word to our sponsors who gave also financial support and some goods and services, the water and all those things. And to conclude, I would like to pass the word to Francisco because team goes on. Next year we'll have team in Salamanca and that's it. I mean, life is like this, it's, it's a circle. So there will be another edition next year and I wish all the best to Francisco for its return to Salamanca. Francisco. Well, thank you, Gustavo. And especially, uh, I want to thank to the ISEP team for the wonderful work they done in order to organize this, this conference. Uh, that I think is, it was fantastic, both from the organizational point of view, but also from the academic point of view. Then I want to ask a big applause for them, for, for uh, their hospitality and for uh, giving give us the opportunity to, to feel like, like uh, we are at home. Ben, thank you very much. You. Well, as, as Gustavo said, uh, the most interesting things in the academic world is start in a bar and this conference start, started in a bar and this session started in a bar in Salamanca a couple of years ago. And I asked to Gustavo that in, in this year, in 2015, uh, he should organize this, this conference here. It was a, a big challenge for, for us, for a new conference, for a new event that uh, was born with different perspectives, perhaps uh, so related to the open education, so related with the open knowledge, so related to the open communities, taking into account the, the realities of the academic in the world. Then, uh, it, I think this, uh, this, this, even the, this edition was a very significant uh, and a, a very different uh, edition from the previous one because it, it is the, best, the first time that team goes out of, of Salamanca. And I'm very, very satisfied with the results. I'm very happy because I think uh, we had several risks. First risk was uh, regarding what's happening with the community that we created in Salamanca. And I think the core community is here then is so good. Thank you very much for, for staying with us in this third year. But also, uh, has grown up with new members from different countries, Spain, Portugal, of course, but also Belgium has a, a significant presence here, Costa Rica, and so on. I can uh, remember all, all of the new countries. And then we have new challenges. We, we always are evolving, thinking to, to do new things, but perhaps the most important challenge is how to engage these new people. Right. Then we, we want that you stay with us, in, not only next year in Salamanca, in the following years we, with, this, uh, with this conference. I think an, an interesting metric about the success of a conference is, uh, uh, is the, how many uh, requests you have about the organization in the future. And I received here informally three, four new petitions to, to organize this conference, and I am very successful. But we decided 
next year because next year we'll be in Salamanca and you are invited and we have prepared some video to invite you and because we wait you in Salamanca next year. And of course, we continue working with this edition with the post proceedings, post publication, post 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 post. post. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, once again, thanks for being with us. And I think it's time that we have lunch and enjoy the rest of the day. If you have time to visit Porto, if you have time to go and visit Porto Design Factory. Team is 2015 is over. A big hail to Team 2016 in Salamanca. So hope to see you, all of you next year in Salamanca. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>